Creating the mood and the atmosphere is one of the strongest pieces in any film. So how did you go about creating that atmosphere as well as the tone for your film? I enjoy the horror films where it's not about, it's not necessarily about going hard, you know, it's not about the big score or showing what the danger is. It's it's leaving a lot up to the imagination. And I think there's a new wave of filmmakers now. They really push silence and uh, the power of silence. When I first had the idea of just a dripping tap and how ominous that could be, and then just piercing it with something as subtle as a drip, how you could make that one small sound interrupting silence, the precursor for something, you know, far more dangerous. And from the soundscape, we kind of built everything else up visually. We, we also try and keep it fairly, fairly scarce without giving it away. There's a couple of shots in there where there's something fairly creepy happening in the background, but most people don't notice it until the second or third viewing. So you get that, that rewatch value out of it. But uh, it was all about keeping the visuals and the audio scape fairly empty so that when something does happen, uh, you know, it really jumps out at you. And I thought that your casting of the lead, she did a terrific job for you because it's not an easy role. I was very fortunate that uh, one of my housemates just happened to be such a, a talented actor. Her ability to really sell those reactions and commit to being frightened to a lot of the time nothing actually being there, uh, that was what was going to make or break the film. So it was, uh, it was very fortunate that I had her there. 